Are you excited it's Friday? I am, because that means it's time for Friday Follies. And for that, we turn to Fox News contributor Raymond Arroyo. All right, Ray, Biden seemed to be malfunctioning today. <laughs> Laura, it was billed as a big speech on AI, where the president had assembled corporate leaders to rein in AI. But by the looks of things, he could have used some artificial intelligence. Realizing the promise of AI by managing the risk is going to require some new laws. As we advance the agenda here at home, we'll lead the work with we'll lead work with our allies and partners. I think these leaders, and I thank these leaders that are in the room with me today, and their partnership. Excuse me. Can you tell us about the hacking of cabinet officials by China and the threshold of concern you have about that, sir? You ready? Yes. How are we getting these guys now? Right. Yeah, China oh, hacking's not important. <laughs> the poor man. We've seen the president in nearly every public event, unsure of how or where to exit. But apparently he doesn't know where he's going at home either. How do you get lost at the White House? I mean, he's going to rein in AI. He can't rein himself into the right direction to leave the room. You know those kids who are at daycare and they have that little string, the rope, the thing they hold on to, and they, they need to just have that for Biden, that little, whatever, that little bridle or whatever it is. Yes. All right, Ray, I see Laura. that you're rubbing, you're rubbing your lamp there. I am. So I guess I'm granting you three wishes. I'm so generous. What's yes. first? Oh, benevolent genie. I wish politicians, particularly former presidential candidates, would stop talking about or start talking about things that matter and leave the unessentials aside, especially when you're on the clock at the Capitol. I give you Oscar Mayer Romney. Well, as you all know, today is National Hot Dog Day. And uh, perhaps you also know that hot dog is my favorite meat. I love hot dogs. Uh, I love them in buns. I love them outside of buns. It's the best, you know, best meat there is. Well, Laura, I guess if anybody knows a wiener, it's Mitt Romney. Uh, the last time he encountered a hot dog, though, it was in a cage on the roof of his car, as I recall. So, you know, yeah. you should leave the hot dog comments aside. He, it yeah, it never worked in 2012 when he tried to be kind of casual. He's just like a button-down guy. That's okay, but it just doesn't doesn't work. No. What's your second wish? Well, my, my second wish is also food related. I wish when the Biden staff staged, say, an ice cream giveaway with union workers, that someone would help the president pass them out like an adult rather than a, than a three-year-old. He tosses the ice cream at him like he's at the seal house. And did you see the way he ripped the igloo top off? You, you would have sworn there was a Burisma payment in that thing. He just ripped it right off, knocked it over. Well, well I'm sounding like um, our friends over at MSNBC, but couldn't they have had that cooler elevated for the poor man? I mean, <laughs> yes. I, he, he, almost, he looks like he's, I mean, it could fall over at any moment. I mean, that's just another yeah. hazard for him. They've okay. got to be very careful. Third wish. Last wish, Laura. I wish decrepit elderly Pauls would stop trying to convince us that they're hip and with it. Here's a Biden ad claiming the president will read your texts. Laura, to him, texting is getting the metal letter straight on the printing press. What are they talking about? He's going to read your text. Then he needed the assistance of that whippersnapper, Bernie Sanders, to meet with young union workers. Note Biden's level of concentration in this edited White House video. The president did what I don't know has ever been done before, invite young workers right here into the White House. We know what needs to be done to make it a better place to work. They refuse to come to the table to begin bargaining. Um, they won't recognize us as uh, represented by a union. Pre-unionization, uh, a lot of guys were hesitant, myself included. <laughs> Laura, those poor kids left thinking, we'll never be unionized at this point. Yeah, the purple hair number. I think Biden's like, what is this? Biden's looking at going, what's... All right. Um, now, do I get a wish, uh, no, or no, is I'm it only you? No, I'm granting you a wish. Oh. I'm granting you a wish now. Okay, Laura. all right, let me I, think. A turnabout okay. is fair play. All okay. right, I, I wish life. politicians would stop trying to attach themselves to these pop culture moments. Like Governor oh. uh, Gretchen Whitless Whitmer, she's my favorite. And her staff, mm. they've been posting pictures of her 
and her personal Barbie called Lil Gretch. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and they're now, they're, what are they doing with it? Yeah, they're, they're, they're sending her on her own adventures, Lil Gretch, and posting them on social media. Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer became Barbie Little Gretch, rolling out in style in her pink convertible. Hi, Barbie. Hi, Barbie. Hi, Barbie. Hi, Barbie. Hi, Barbie. Hi, Barbie. I don't. <laughs> Laura, oh, my God. I, I can understand the comparison, Laura, because Barbie has almost as much plastic as Big Gretch. I, I understand why they would. I th when you first said out, it, it was like, I thought it was big, the big wretch. That would have made a lot more sense, <laughs> not the big wretch. I don't, do they understand there's a, there's a consonance issue there? Raymond, happy Friday, and thank you for my wish. So long. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.